Iten is popularly known as the home of champions. Not only does this small town boast of producing some of Kenya's greatest athletes, thousands of others from around the world come here to train because of its high altitude. But in recent years, Kenya's prominent image in the world of athletics has been tainted by doping allegations. We talked to athletes who admitted to doping and told us it's common practice. This runner asked us not to reveal his identity. He said he felt under pressure to succeed. Here he's filmed receiving an injection while training for a big race. I know doping is bad, but as runners we have to support our families through whatever means. The first time I went for a race, I lost, and that prompted me to take the risk because this is my livelihood. Athletes we talked to said it's quite easy to get EPO in many pharmacies. It's a controlled drug mainly used for anemic patients, but with the right price, doctors, nurses and pharmacists provide it for runners. This pharmacist, who also asked to keep his identity hidden, serves runners who give him a cut from their earnings. We sent him to buy this dose of EPO, which he did within hours. They are desperate athletes. Personally, I've, I've given to six athletes. We also met as bulky prop, one of dozens of athletes banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. He's won three world championship titles, but tested positive for using EPO. Kiprop maintains his innocence. It's hard in the science, you know, which I believe there must be an error there. If it is not a swap or, 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 a, or, 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 or a conspiracy, then there is a science error. Kenya's doping monitors say with thousands of athletes and stretched resources, keeping checks on everyone has been a challenge. We need to uh, clean up all across, uh, even at the society level, so that the ethical values of good competition. The spirit of sports where I compete and if I don't win, I'm still happy that I competed. I ran the race, I might have been number 100, but I finished the, the half marathon. That is the spirit we want to improve. But this is a lucrative sport, and some of those we talked to said as long as there's corruption and runners willing to risk everything to make money, carbon cheating will always be difficult. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera. Ten.